Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We'll have Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Might even have Mike's three-year-old son, Isaac. Did you see his hilarious video at YouTube? Isaac actually uh, put some cool tips out there just randomly clicking around. Uh, watch out, Mike. You're going to have some competition there. So, hey, we have a question today sent in uh, from Portugal. Uh, and what they have is they have this matrix over here, a little drop down where you can choose one of the columns, P1, P2, P3. And when we choose that, we need to figure out where the X is and then return the value uh, over here along the left hand side. So I'm going to build this in a couple of steps. Let's talk about how I build it. First thing I want to do is figure out when they choose P2 up there, which column is that in? So equal match. Go find this P2 within this range over here, B1 to D1. And we want an exact match, so we put 0 and that says, all right, we're in column 2. And if we would choose something different, P1, column 1, or P3, column 3. Now, I want to point to the correct column. I'm going to use the offset function to do that. Offset it says, hey, start over here in A2. And offset does lots of things. We're not going to use them all here. How many rows to go down? No, nope, don't need to go any rows down. How many columns to go over? Oh, yeah, we're going to use this one right here, the result of that match. How many rows tall do we want? We want three rows tall. And how many columns wide? One column wide. Now, offset is going to return all three cells in the column, which is not what we want to do. So I'm going to copy those characters to the clipboard, everything except for the equal sign. We're going to use that here. Equal match. Go find the X within lookup array. Well, that's where I paste in that offset. So it's going to return the, uh, the, the values from that correct column. And then, of course, an exact match. And what this does is it says, hey, if you've chosen P3, X is in the second row. Now we can test this out here. We choose P1. X is in the first row. Choose P2. X is in the third row. All right, so then value along the left-hand side, we'll use the index function. Index of what's over here? A2 to A4, comma. Which row do we want? Well, it's that row right there. All right, and so we get M3. So there's our answer. Now, of course, I took all four of those pieces and put them back together to create this one really long formula up here that uh, does all of that in one formula. So that's how I would solve it. Mike, we'll uh, send it over to you, consult with Isaac, see what you guys can come up with. Be right back. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, uh, Isaac said that he wants to use the index function instead of offset, so that's what we'll do. All right, um, I think of this kind of a, as a, a three-way lookup. We have something here, and we want, we want a formula here that's going to look here, find the position, then go down here, uh, extract a whole column. That'll be the second lookup. First lookup is finding the, the P whatever. Look up here. Then finding the using the X to then jump over to this third item. So there's like uh, a three-way lookup. First thing is I'm just going to see if I can get the uh, column number with the match. Just like Mr. Excel did. We take that whatever is in that cell. Look through there, comma, zero, because it's an exact match. And that'll give us one if I change this to uh, 2, then it gives me the second column. Now the next thing is we need to somehow extract, uh, right now we need to extract this range of values and then look in that range, find the x, which will deliver the row number to find the particular item over here. Mr. Excel used the uh, offset. Well, Isaac said he wanted to use the index, so we'll try that. Index, and the index needs the array. Got to do the whole array here the inside the table. Now comma and the whole trick here to get the index to extract a column is to use row number zero. Remember we already have the column number right here from the match. But that zero there means in essence give once you find the column, give me all the rows. And that's what it does. It gives us all the rows at, at that particular column in that whole uh, table there. So now I'm going to uh, close parentheses. If I were to highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can see it gives me exactly that range. I'm going to Control Z. Now, that index is going to be used inside of match because all it's doing is delivering the range. So I say match. And what do I want to look up? In uh, quotes, x, now I want uh, x there, comma, the lookup array is that index, and then I come to the end, and the match type is 0, because we're looking up an exact match. So there it is. That delivers the 2. That's the row number that we then need to 
to use in one more index. Because remember, we're looking up here. So we have that whole match index match thing gives us the row number. So now we just do index of this right here, comma. That is the row number. We come to the end, close parentheses. Boom, there it is, M2. All right, so we pick uh, the P1, and we get that. We pick up P3. Obviously, this is a little data set. The big data set is what this was really going to be used for. So there you go. Uh, we'll see you next trick. Hey, Mike. Entertaining as always. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.